Given recent updates to rival streaming services, deciding between Spotify free and premium has gotten a little more difficult. Apple Music has thrown down the gauntlet to Spotify's enticing value by launching lossless and spatial music at no extra price this year. If you don't currently have a Spotify premium subscription, you might be thinking whether the $9.99 monthly fee is worth it. Alternatively, maybe it's better to keep your Spotify free account but divert your music streaming money to another service. By comparing what you get on both tiers, this Spotify free versus premium comparison will help you decide. Spotify Hi-Fi is also slated to launch shortly, so we'll keep this guide updated as new information becomes available. Spotify Premium vs Spotify Free, what's the difference? Spotify's library of over 70 million songs and podcast titles is mostly accessible to both free and paid users. That's a lot of content for which you don't have to pay anything. The good news is that you won't have to spend that much money. A basic premium subscription costs $9.99 per month, but you may pay for it in full for $99 per year, bringing the monthly cost down to $8.25. Spotify Premium is also available for $4.99 per month if you can show you're a student. Signing up for group offers, which are ideal for families or couples, can also help you save money. For $12.99 per month, you can obtain two different Spotify Premium Duo accounts, while $15.99 offers you six unique accounts. When it comes to music libraries, it's nice that you can access virtually the whole Spotify library for free but real music enthusiasts will be disappointed by the lack of some brand new albums. While we don't know how much Spotify Hi-Fi will cost or how many lossless songs it would offer, it's feasible that it may follow Apple Music and Amazon Music HD in incorporating lossless listening into the normal premium tier. In that situation, compared to the free version, Spotify Premium would have even more content. Ads in Spotify Free Compared Spotify Premium the absence of adverts in Spotify's premium tier is arguably the most significant distinction between the two tiers. This applies to both the visual adverts you'll see as you move through the app and the ads that play on Spotify free in the middle of songs. This could all come down to your personal tolerance for being advertised to, and if you're the only one listening, it might not be a huge concern. If you want to play music at a party using Spotify free, you might have to explain to visitors why they're hearing a car insurance commercial in between songs. Spotify Premium is the winner. Spotify Free vs Spotify Premium, controls for playback. One disadvantage of not paying for premium is that you have less control over your music. To begin with, you're restricted to shuffle play for entire albums. This means you won't be able to select a single song to listen to, instead, you'll have to rely on a random selection order. You might wish you had a premium subscription if you don't like the songs it plays on shuffle mode. Only premium subscribers get unlimited skips, allowing them to skip through tracks they don't like. Free users, on the other hand, can only skip 6 tracks every hour. Only select Spotify curated playlists available from the homepage are exempt, if the playlist name doesn't have a shuffle symbol next to it, you can skip tracks inside it without it counting against the hourly 6 skip limit. Spotify Premium is the winner. Spotify Free vs Spotify Premium, which devices are supported? Spotify is available pretty much everywhere. This includes your PC, smartphone, tablet, smart TV, and even gaming consoles such as the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series 10. Spotify content may be played in any car that has Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, or Spotify's proprietary car thing gadget. It makes no difference whether you pay for premium or not in this sense, because free users can connect to all of the same devices. Spotify Premium vs Spotify Free, what's the difference? Advertisement Spotify has an advantage over competitors like Apple Music in the ease with which you can share songs and playlists with friends and across your social media platforms. To Spotify's credit, whether you pay for premium or not, these social features are virtually the same. That means free users may create shareable links, publish songs to Twitter or Instagram, and collaborate on playlists with other users just as easily. Family Mix and Duo Mix Playlists which are algorithmically recommended music based on what different individual accounts on a family or duo plan are listening to, are the only extras that Spotify Premium features. 
However, because it's a little feature that doesn't aid individuals with separate premium accounts, we'll call this a tie. Spotify Premium versus Spotify Free, what's the difference? Apart from the family slash duo mixes, curated content those personalized playlists you see on the homepage of Spotify every time you log in is available to both free and premium customers. You can still get these playlists depending on your listening habits even if you don't pay anything. It may be one of the daily mix collections, which includes songs you've recently enjoyed as well as music you've yet to hear but might enjoy, with the Discover Weekly Mix, which focuses on expanding your listening with new tracks and artists. In every case, regardless of subscription type, these discovery and curation functions work the same. Sound quality of Spotify Free vs Spotify Premium Spotify Premium with its higher quality audio option, may be preferable if you have the best headphones and or a discriminating ear. It streams music at a bit rate of 320 kilobits per second, which is a big improvement than Spotify Free's 160 kilobits per second on mobile. When using Spotify's desktop app, the bitrate lowers to 128 kilobits per second. The question of whether most people can tell the difference between high-res audio and lower resolution music is still up for dispute and it'll certainly come up again once Spotify Hi-Fi launches. However, there are no diminishing returns at this lower resolution level, and 320 kilobits per second music can and will sound richer and more detailed than 160 or 128 kilobits per second on a good pair of headphones. Offline listening with Spotify Free versus Spotify Premium The ability to download music to your smartphone and listen to them anywhere, even when you don't have access to Wi-Fi or data, is a big benefit of Spotify Premium. Our article will show you how to download songs from Spotify. Non-paying Spotify users can't save tracks to their devices for offline listening. For individuals who don't want to rack up their mobile data bill or find themselves in areas without cellular connection, this is a huge knock against Spotify Free. Spotify Premium versus Spotify Free, which is better? Free might still be suitable for you if you're the type of music listener who doesn't mind turning on your speakers and letting Spotify take over. Is it really worth it to have 70 million songs and podcasts? That's not insignificant, and you won't be missing out on Spotify's curation, discovery, or social intelligence. Spotify Premium, on the other hand, is well worth the money if you want to hear the latest songs, have complete control over playing, save songs offline, and prevent commercials. Premium would likely be an appealing middle ground even if Spotify Hi-Fi becomes a separate, much more expensive tier.